today we're going to be talking about some Mafia 2 cut content. This is a little different from what I normally do. And I, this was basically a request from the someone in the comment sections for me to make this video. And I said I would if I found some uh, cut content. And surprisingly, I found the absolute motherload of cut content. So let's get into it. So firstly, we're going to have a look at the cut vehicles. The one that stands out the most was the Grand American 410, or was it the 410 Grand American? This was kind of a luxury sports kind of car, which was going to be implemented into the main story in your player's veto, but for some unknown reasons it was taken out, and it wasn't added until Joe's Adventures. It was added again, but as the Delzia Grand America, which is a little different from the 410 Grand America um, as there's a vent missing from the front of the car and it's a little bit slimmer and it looks nicer to be honest it's more of a luxury car in Joe's Adventures rather than a sports car and another cut vehicle was the different variations of trucks that you could get in game um, originally there was going to be some Peter Liner kind of trucks where the the, the load on the back would have been like larger than it is in game now and um, the only trucks you can get in Mafia 2 now is like these mule trucks that have about four wheels and these trucks were originally going to have about 12 wheels originally making the truck larger in length it was and I think it was taken out of the game because of how small the roads are in game because some of the roads in the streets are pretty slim that the trucks just wouldn't fit through them properly and would have trouble turning in, in different roads from them trucks. And the another vehicle that was deleted from Joe's Adventures, it wasn't ever going to be in the main game but was going to be added into Joe's Adventures as a drivable vehicle, was a forklift. Um, I don't really see the point in a forklift in the game so I'm not really bothered it was taken out but I can see that it could possibly be have been used for a mission in Joe's Adventure, similar to the Vice City Stories mission where you have to use the forklift to get the moonshine out of the warehouse before it blows up or something. And there's, it was actually going to be able to be used in game with Joe. And he has a picture now to have a look of what it would have looked like. And I, I, I would have liked to have the choice to use the forklift, but I'm not really bothered that I can't use it. Um, because I would have got up to some mayhem on that forklift, let me tell you that now. And there wasn't really that many cut vehicles, That that's all I could find, but next is the cut areas. So, one of the main cut areas that I've actually got some, well, good images of is the printing works. It's unknown what they would have been used for, but I can well infer that it's a printing work so it's possibly linked to counterfeit money and this would have possibly been run by one of the mob families to make counterfeit money or even passports similar to what um, Vito got in one of the first missions some papers to say that he was unfit to go back to the army and it could have also been linked to Giuseppe seeing as he supplies these kind of documents Um, so that is that. Um, racetrack was another cut area, and in the game there's the feature to use Betten, but which was taken out, which I'll talk about later. So the racetrack was another area that was cut that you could go to. I'm presumably thinking that it would have been near the countryside, and would have been like the Vinci family would have operated around that scene as Leo Galante and Frank Vinci were frequented at the racetrack. And from there you could be able to bet on hounds and maybe even horses. And finally another cut area is the subway. The subway that we've seen in Joe's Adventures. It was it was supposed to be added into the main game, but for unknown reasons yet again, I possibly because there was no missions to go into the subway, so they just saved it for Joe's Adventures. Uh, and the subway was to be used to use the public transport of the train to go around Empire Bay, but I'll talk about that later also. So the other two were pretty wishy-washy, there wasn't that much information about them, but Cut Features has the most 
that it, there's like a list of them that was actually cut from the game to make the game even better. So there's a long list, so buckle in because we're in here for a long time. Um, firstly, it will be the ability to ride bikes. Yes, like the getaway Black Monday, you could actually ride a bicycle around Empire Bay in the in the beta game. And for unknown reasons, once again, um, they were just taken out. And I would have liked to have had the chance to ride around on a bike around Empire Bay. Uh, I could have got, like with the forklift, I could have got up with some mayhem with it. And the bicycle could have possibly been used for like some kind of corky side mission. Like that Vito had to run away from some Clemente's guys using a bike or something. <laughs> and he, it's, I don't know why they didn't put it in but I thought some some of the players would have possibly liked to ride bikes around seeing as we don't get motorcycles in the game and you can obviously see the difference between the beta and the original game the quality of the beta is so much better than the actual finished product and uh, looking back to Mafia 2 now it's like more bleak and like depressing it's <sighs> right moving on Buying homes and appliances. This was another great one that we obviously missed out on. We could go to the the a real estate agent that we met in the Francesco Potenza chapter 8, I think. Or chapter 7, one of them. Where we are introduced into our new home, where it's an apartment. We could go to the real estate agent that sold us that house, he's called Rick, to buy other homes in the beta game. So we could have possibly been buying uh, different apartments, one of them hilltop mansions that uh, Leo Galante lives in, and that would have been nice to also have the choice to just go around and buy houses, because obviously you've only got one house in the game, depending on how far you are in the story as well. So you're either crashing on Joe's couch or living in a nice home in Greenfield. Uh, I would prefer to just live on the man in, a, in a mansion on the hilltop, but obviously we never got that choice. And appliances for the house, so the house gets m it's like more customization for the game, seeing as you can customize your home by putting new TVs in, new radios, um, and you just it's not like the cars aren't the only customize um, customizable items in the game your house could have been also possibly like different wallpapers portraits even different kinds of refrigerators with different foods inside similar to Saints Row 2 but I would have it, that would have been nice to customize your house and another feature which would have been nice as well similar to RDR Red Dead Redemption's newspaper we were able to buy newspapers and Thinking back, I had back to Red Dead Redemption. Once you got a newspaper, it would tell you like past events in the game that you actually did. Like, uh, like if there was a robbery in one of the towns, like it, the newspaper would talk about it. That's could have, that's what might have been implemented into the newspaper on Mafia 2 if we had the chance to buy it. Like Henry Tomasino being killed, the newspaper could have reported on that, and it would have just been nice to take a break from the game and just sit in your home looking outside while reading the newspaper about Henry's death or something. That would have just been nice. And we get an AB press, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what an AB press is. So comment below what one of them is because I have no clue. And another ability was taken out of the game, which was the use of public transport. I only touched on this a little bit before, but we could be able to use the buses that you see in the game. That's why there's a bus station in Mafia 2, but it's like, it's not even, there's like no buses ever there. It's never used in the game. It's a bit strange. The only time using it was the, uh, is the part when Vito comes back to the Empire Bay after this, after being in prison. Um, yeah, we would be able to, um, hail buses at the, bus stop and waiting to be picked up and then taken all over Empire Bay wherever you wanted to go. Similar to a taxi as well. You were able to tail taxis from around the city and they would obviously take you to your destination. This was taken out for unknown reasons which I would have liked because sometimes I get bored of just driving around the city. I would have liked the nice little break if I'm going to the opposite side of the city instead of driving there. 
And like I was saying before, the subway as well, you could have been able to go onto the subway, but I think that was taken out because the city isn't that big, to be honest. The subway is, like, the subway is used for, like, big cities, like Liberty City. Like, that's huge in GTA 4 and GTA 3 and stuff. So that's why the subway was implemented in there. But to be honest, you could get from the other end to Empire Bay to the opposite end in about, like, five minutes. So I, I, I think they just didn't see a point in putting the subway in um, until Joe's Adventures, where you could just go in there and do your mission and then not allowed to be going in there again. Um, there are some unfinished underground tunnels that were going to be used for the subway, which are accessible through Noclip. And another ability was the betting, like I was talking about before, you were able to go and bet on hounds, and this could have been incorporated in the game early, to um, come back from the war, you needed money or something, or it could possibly be when you just got out of prison and you need money, and seeing as you're connected with Leo now, he could have introduced that for you. Uh, another ability was the extreme difficulty, which would have been harder than hard bit self-explanatory but um, I would have liked to have an extra difficulty in seeing as I finished the game on hard and I would have liked the new challenge and I, they could have possibly put a, a reward on for the extra um, finishing the extreme difficulty which would have been nice um, shooting from a car is another ability they took out which was I think this is the biggest what the, the biggest flaw of Mafia 2 was not being able to shoot out your car because you'll be driving down the street, get chased by mafios uh, inside their cars, they're shooting Tommy guns at you, the police, whoever, they've got Tommy guns shooting at you, and you can't even defend yourself, you can't even defend yourself, you can only just drive forward and try and manoeuvre through alleyways, unless you've got Joe or Henry or whoever inside your car shooting at them. It's a bit stupid, like, you could have actually been shooting from your car to kill them, and then... That would have saved me so many times on when so many times I've played on the game and been killed by the the NPCs. Um, next would be in a Fight Club, seeing as the one rule about Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. I'm not going to really talk about it. Uh, other than it would have possibly been the same as the part when you're in prison and you're fighting the the triads and then you're fighting the bombers for Leo, and then you have, would have obviously got money instead of respect in prison, seeing as you didn't get paid for any of the fights in prison. But it would have been a nice uh, fast way to earn money when you're playing on the game. So the video that I made all together was way too long to put into one video, so I decided to cut it down the middle. It ended up becoming like 25 minutes in the end, so I cut it in the middle to make two videos. And if you want to see part two of the cut content, give this video 10 likes. This is the first time I've ever made a like goal, so I thought I'd shoot very low. Um, 10 likes to see the second part of the cut content video, which will include cut content, seeing the story, weapons and characters and loads more. So give this video 10 likes and we'll see the cut content part 2. Like and subscribe for some more and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. And obviously the centre of the town is going to be this little spot here. As you can see that there's four roads interlinking into the middle, similar to some of the photos and videos that we've seen. Um, this is obviously going to be where most of the story takes place inside the little town, and obviously it's going to be taking outside, um, taking place outside of the town as well. Seeing as we've 